If you're a language student or a language teacher, you're gonna find this video super useful because I'm gonna show you two super impressive audio tools that will generate voices from text in multiple languages and the quality of the accents is superb. For example, the accents in English, which I can vouch for, sound totally English. Now what's incredible is these technologies are free. So imagine if you're a teacher and you wanna generate listening material for your class, or you want to be able to help your students to be able to listen and read at the same time, or if you're a student and you wanna do the same, or maybe you wanna practice the pronunciation of certain sentences or certain words, these technologies are gonna do that and incredibly they're free. Okay, really hope you like the video and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So let's start straight away by just showing you what this technology can do. The first one I'm gonna show you is called naturalreaders.com. I'm just gonna paste in some text. So I just pasted in some text that I've copied from the internet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to choose an accent. Now, notice I've got absolutely tons of languages here. I use this in Polish, in French, in Spanish, but you can see there are just masses of languages and there's lots of English accents. Now, I'm English myself, so I'm going to choose a nice English accent and we'll choose Sonia. She's got a great voice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this and it's going to be able to read the text out but it also does a few other things watch this when i click on the button the government is pushing for a deal that would allow uk passport holders to use eu airport e-gates a minister has confirmed now i'm going to stop it there okay so this ability let me just close this down this ability for example that you can have here the sentence being read out to you and marked on the screen sentence by sentence as well as being able to see the text here at the top this is absolutely incredible because it means i can listen and read at the same time and this is an enormous help to me when i'm learning languages so from a student's point of view this is a really useful tool now you know, that could be a list of words that I paste in. It doesn't have to be sentences. It could be a longer text. You can actually use this technology for free. Now, if I just click back onto the home button just to show you something, if I click here on natural readers and go get started and click on personal, you don't even need to log in. Now, if you do create an account, it simply means you get more for free. Okay, now the upgrades will give you additional features, but there are some really nice features in this technology that I particularly like. If you don't like the idea of the subtitles at the bottom, you can turn that off as well if you want to. And you've also got another couple of other useful controls. Let me just show you one more example. I've just logged into my account just to show you what happens if you log in and you've got something here called daily TT. TS usage so you can use this for free on a daily basis and notice obviously if you do pay you would get a lot more but even in the free tool you get up to 4,000 characters a day so let me paste in now some text in Polish just to show you again that this works in multiple languages and this has really been a massive help to me because I can go down to the Polish and remember whenever you choose a language you've often got a series of different voices that you can use. Now, I often use Marek. So I'm gonna click here, okay? And now I'm gonna have Marek read out this text for me, okay? So these are some sentences with key vocabulary that I'm trying to practice. Mowa oczywiście o wyborach prezydenckich. Niektóre bloki mogą mieć również zakaz posiadania zwierząt. Now, there are lots of other ways to use this technology. You can obviously paste in text, but you can also upload a document, etc. And you'll need to kind of play around. I'm just showing you some of the basics. From a language point of view, a couple of interesting things are, number one, I've mentioned this already, the, the subtitles here, which you can have on either on or off. And I, I really recommend you have them on. Another thing is click here, and you can actually slow the delivery down. So if you wanted to slow it down, then you can do that. Now, one other thing that doesn't work really well is that if I play it, now it's obviously going to play more slowly. Niektóre bloki mogą mieć również zakaz posiadania zwierząt. 
Now, if I wanted to play that sentence again, what I can do is click on this button here and it will go back, but it kind of jumps back a certain distance. If I click here, it kind of Mowa goes back. Oczywiście o wyborach prezydenckich. Niektóre bloki mogą mieć również zakaz posiadania zwierząt. Now, I don't, I don't think, for example, that you can click on here to, maybe you can, let's give it a try, and maybe you can do that. Okay, so I've just learned something new now, but an another thing then to do is just to click back at the beginning of the sentence and then you can practice it again. Now, that's really quite useful because repetition sometimes, of just, especially in Polish, of just getting your mouth around the word is useful. Now, there's one problem with this technology and that is downloading the audio. And I'm now going to show you the solution to that. Okay, really hope you like that. And if you do, please like the video because it really helps me to boost my rankings on YouTube. What a lot of teachers ask me though is, Russell, can we download the audio? Now, obviously, if you've got access to the internet in your classroom, there's no problem. You can use natural readers, you can play the audio and the students can listen to it and you can choose from all the different voices so you can expose your students to lots of different accents. However, if you need the audio, if you haven't got a very good internet collection in your classroom, for example, then we're going to have to use another technology. Luckily, I came across another technology that can do that and I'm going to show you that now. Just one thing, lots of people ask me, Russell, how do you make your videos? I do have another channel, it's called Screencast Guru, and it's all about how I make my videos using Camtasia, how I built up and set up my YouTube channel, and I think we've got 90,000 subscribers now. And if you want to access that channel, and of course all the videos are free, then just click on the link that's on the screen now, that'll take you over to that channel that you can subscribe to. We're now gonna look at another audio tool, that does very similar things to natural readers, but it allows you to download the audio. So this technology is called Love Voice, but there's one big difference. First of all, it does give you a lot for free. And if you log in, you get more. So this is more generous than natural readers uh, if you log in. This is what you get for free even if you don't log in. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't highlight the text. And I find the highlighting of the text really useful. So I prefer to use natural readers if I'm gonna practice on my own or study on my own. But certainly if I wanna generate the audio, then working with um, this particular technology is really useful. Notice, and I've just published in the same text that we were using before, but I can come down below. Again, I've got lots of languages. Look at all these languages that I can use and look at all the different Spanish accents and Chinese accents that exist. And for me, luckily, there is also Polish. It's actually quite a long way down the Polish, but I remember that it is here, there it is. I'm gonna click on that. I do get a choice again of voices. Okay, I'm going to use Marek again, so it's got the same voices on natural readers. And now I'm going to click on Generate, and it actually generates that audio file for me. Just verify that I'm human. There it is. Mowa oczywiście o wyborach prezydenckich. Niektóre bloki mogą mieć również zakaz posiadania zwierząt. So that's great. I can actually generate the audio. It doesn't highlight the text as it's playing it through, but one thing it does do is it allows you to click here and to download the audio okay so um it says download started press and it will come up in a minute so if i was to now jump over to my downloads that audio will be there so let's quickly do that so I'm just coming over to my downloads and there it is love voice and that is actually an mp3 file so if I literally can click on this and play it if I click here now and just play that Mowa oczywiście o wyborach prezydenckich. So that's super useful. And now what I'm going to do is show you a few more ideas around using these technologies. Okay, hope you like Love Voice. And again, if you do, please like the video. Remember, it really helps me to boost my rankings on YouTube. I'm going to show you now some of the things that I actually do when I'm studying and how I use AI to generate text for me, which I then put into Natural Reader so that I can read it and play it back or use Love Voice as well. One thing, if you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. All the videos are free, they're all organized. There's a special section also for students. And more than that, if you're a teacher, sign up to the newsletter. The newsletter comes out every week. I update you on the latest technologies that I've tested out. But not only that, there's a free 
14 point or well, 14 part course where I highlight some of the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel and literally everything that I suggest is free. Right, let's move on with this video now and look how we can combine these technologies together. So I'll do this in English and I'm gonna come over and click here and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna use Google Gemini, but of course you could use ChatGPT or Copilot. One of the things about Google Gemini is that we can actually kind of click on this button here and just request and speak to it and tell it what we want, or we can write the instructions in. Both ways will work. I'm gonna write the instructions so I've written the instructions. Can you write a short history of the formation of Chelsea Football Club? I want this to be for students of B1 level in English on the Sephra scale. Can you also highlight 10 of the most difficult words in the text that I should pre-teach to help the students understand? And I suppose really I better put in um, the question marks because uh, that would be correct. Okay, now I'm gonna click on this button here and I'm hoping it's gonna do it for me. Now I noticed that I not, didn't only just ask for the text but I asked for those words and the reason for that is that I would like also to practice or even study some of the key vocabulary. So it's written the text for me. Now I could have even obviously asked it to produce for me uh, the text with a certain number of words, for example. I might have said it only needs 500 words, but this immediately gives me some great things that I can now do. For example, I could just copy this, okay? It even provides me with the sources, which is really useful, but the magic button for me is this one here, copy. But remember, if you just wanna copy, co copy a specific part, so let's say that I just wanna copy this, then I can do that as well. I can click here and come up to here. And one of the reasons why I've done this about Chelsea is because I'm a Chelsea supporter and I know that I'm reading this and that actually the information is all correct. Now I've just read that text and I think that's excellent. I think it's a good choice of level as well. And I also know that the, factually it's correct. And I like the fact that it's highlighted some of the words that I need to pre-teach. As I said, what I can do now is just literally copy that text and I obviously don't want the vocabulary so I'm just going to go for this part from here onwards I'm going to copy that and then I would come over to natural readers let's do that I've pasted in my text and now I could listen listen to this and obviously read it at the same time a short history of Chelsea football now I've made a mistake there. <laughs> I've got to put it back into an English accent, of course. So I'm going to bring it back again. Let's perhaps use a um, American accent this time and we'll choose Adam. Okay. And so now I'm going to get Adam to read the text out for me. Okay. So we've seen there how we can do this listening and reading together, something that I really like. Um, obviously we haven't dealt with the issue of the vocabulary. We've got those 10 words and what could we do to study those? Well, there is a brilliant technology or a brilliant secret button inside of Google, inside of Google Translate. Uh, it's called, I call it the magic button and the video on that I think has been played about 100,000 times now. And if you want to watch that, it's on the screen now and it'll give you some great ideas about studying vocabulary. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. 
and we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month or sometimes it's two technologies and we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training. This training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.